One of my favorite features of this console generation and arguably Xbox's biggest advantage over the competition is quick resume. It allows you to quickly swap between games without losing your position, so you can switch between a big open world RPG to that stint on Vampire Survivors. What if I told you you could get similar functionality on the Steam Deck using a decky plugin called Pause Games and Cryobyte's amazing script to boost the swap file to 32 gigabytes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that and demonstrate exactly what the Pause Games plugin can do. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is install the Decky plugin loader. We've got a video all about that and how you can install Decky, install plugins, and install themes on your Steam Deck. So check out that video first. You can either click on the I or the description below. Once you've got Decky installed, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the marketplace on Decky, and we're gonna find a plugin called, called Pause Games. So we're gonna install Pause Games, and this will allow us to suspend the game. Uh, and essentially we can then flick between multiple games while holding that one in suspension. Now this will work straight away. And if the game that you're looking to suspend and switch between doesn't use all that much RAM, then you can get away with just using the plugin as is. We'll then in the second section of this video go through installing Cryobyte script and what that can do. He's also got his own video and I'm gonna to link to that one in the description below as well. But for this video, I'm just gonna show you how to increase the swap file size to 32 gigabytes. Now, obviously that's not gonna be very good if you've only got a 64 gig Steam Deck, but for the majority of people that have a 256 gigabyte Steam Deck or a 512 gigabyte Steam Deck, it really does improve performance and you can also then swap between games. To increase the swap file size, I recommend using the Steam Deck Utilities script from Cryobyte33, and I'll put a link down in the description both to his video and to this GitHub repository. It's very easy to install, and the functionality will allow you to uh, resize the swap file, and you can enable and disable trim on older versions of SteamOS. By default, the new version of SteamOS 3.4 will allow you to do it. To install it, all you need to do is right-click on this link, and we're gonna save link as. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna add this directly to my desktop and it's gonna be install cryo utilities dot desktop. Once we've installed it, we can go to the desktop and we can just double click on the file. This is gonna say, do you trust this program? We're gonna say, yes, I'm gonna click continue. And that's gonna download the cryo utilities script. And you can see it's added all of the cryo utilities and the uninstall icon and the update icon to my desktop. I'm gonna double click on Cryo Utilities. It's gonna say this is a script made by Cryobyte33 to resize the swap file. We're gonna say yes, I accept these terms. And it's gonna ask me to enter in my password. Now, you'll have created a password in order to install Decky. This will be the password for your Steam Deck. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password here. This is gonna say, this will change the swap file size. The current size is one and the recommended size is 16. So I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say I actually want a 32 gigabyte swap file size. It says we've got 56 gigs of space available. I want 32 gigabytes so we can easily swap between uh, games and hold that storage in suspension. So this is gonna now go ahead and create the, the 32 gigabyte swap file or whatever size you've selected. I'm gonna leave this here to run, and then when we come back, we can go back to gaming mode, and we can try out the Pause Games plugin. Okay, so the process is completed. It says we can verify that the file is resized by checking, uh, by running one of these two commands. So I'm gonna run swap on dash S, and we'll see what file size it is. It's gonna say, do you want to change the swappiness as well? I'm gonna click yes, just to follow the recommendation. Would you like to run trim right now? I'm gonna say no. By default, SteamOS automatically runs with trim. And that's it, everything has been installed. So now we can go back to gaming mode with our new 32 gigabyte swap file. Of course, if you want to change your swap file back, all you need to do is run Cry Utilities again and select the default one gigabyte swap file size. Here I am in Euro Truck Simulator and you can see we're getting absolutely dreadful frame rates, around 15 FPS at most. 
And that's because I've actually got Days Gone running in the background. And if we switch over to Days Gone, you can see we're also getting pretty dismal frame rates. Now, obviously, we can improve the frame rates of both of these games by closing the other one. But if we're in the middle of a game and we want to play the other one or we share our Steam Deck, we can use the Pause Games plugin. We open up Decky and we go to Pause Games. You can see I've got both of the games that are running open here. I've got Days Gone and Euro Truck Simulator. If I pause Days Gone, you'll see instantly that all of the animation freezes and the game has suspended. And I can do the same for Euro Truck Simulator and watch what happens to the FPS. It instantly goes up to around 40 FPS, which is where I've tweak, uh, tweaked this game to target in 720p. Now, this means that when we go over to Euro Truck Sim, that the game will be completely suspended. And I'm unable to move around and you can see that nothing's working. I can't move the mouse trigger. I can't click anything. And if we go to pause games, you can see that the game is paused. If I pause Days Gone instead and I unpause Euro Truck, you can see we're now getting around 40 FPS in this game as well. We can also automatically pause games on focus loss. That means that when they go to the home screen, uh, you can see that if I go to the home screen, those games will no longer be running. They'll be paused. Pause on focus loss. And it gives you a little bit of an explanation here as well. Pause on focus loss. Pauses apps not in focus automatically when switching between them. Changing the state of an app in this mode. Uh, Mode will sticky then play, pause to reset, disable and re-enable, pause on focus, loss, applications will appear here. So if I now turn on days gone and turn on pause on focus loss, what happens now automatically is we can switch between the games and as soon as one loses focus, the other one will pause. So if I go over to days gone, resume that game. You can see we're getting 40 FPS automatically. I can switch back over to Euro Truck Simulator. And again, it's automatically paused, days gone. We're getting 40 FPS here as well. It very much works like Quick Resume. I can even go to the home screen. I can launch a third game if I wanted to. Say, for example, I wanted to play some Simpsons Hit and Run, some Golden Idol, some Vampire Survivor, something like that. I'm going to boot up some Simpsons Hit and Run here. The other two games are paused in the background, and thanks to the 32 gigabyte swap file, it means we have no performance drops whatsoever across these games. You can see Simpsons Hit and Run is, is going to target 60 FPS as we get through these menus here. Here we are loaded into the Simpsons Hit and Run, and you can see we're hitting that 60 FPS target with no issues whatsoever. You can also see I'm using power tools, so we've got just three cores in use here. And if I switch back to Euro Truck, that will switch back up to all of the core usage. And you can see we're getting 40 FPS and go over to Days Gone. And we're getting similar frame rates over here as well. Uh, again, hitting that 40 FPS target. Again, this is really great functionality. You can just switch between multiple games. It really feels like Xbox's quick resume. The only thing that's lacking is it won't store the RAM to disk. So you can't turn your Steam Deck fully off and then boot it back up and expect to jump straight back in where you were. But I think for the most part, being able to quickly switch from a big AAA title like Days Gone to something smaller like a Vampire Survivors or even a Euro Truck Simulator you can really just switch between games as you want. And with that new feature of the pause on focus in the latest version of pause games, it is just phenomenal. Really, really great work from the developers on pause games. And of course, Cryobyte with his phenomenal cry utilities script. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much to all of our patrons, especially our Patreon producers. You can find out more at patreon.com slash flipscreengames. And if you're interested in more from me, check out this video right here, all about my plugin tunnel deck, which will allow you to connect to VPNs within gaming mode. Bye for now.